Beatus essay, this is High Priestess Ashodara Singh. Welcome number four. For those of you born on the 4th, the 13th, the 31st, the 22nd, please add up your birth date. If it adds to a number four, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. You have Lord Shiva's deck, the Dragon Oracle and the Moonology deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different tarot decks. The Dragon Tarot, the Celtic Dragon Tarot, the Smithweight and the Wicca deck. Alright, let's move to the central theme. It's a very interesting spread indeed. Uh, you've pulled out the New Moon's card which says a new start is coming. You've pulled out the Law of Karma, reaping what you sow. And you've pulled out the Nutrition card. Let me explain it to you one by one. We'll take the law of karma card first so this is this speaks about you must have heard the age-old saying as you as you sow so you shall reap so the universe operates on this principle it's literally the karmic principle what you give you shall receive right your current situation at the moment number four is a reflection of the consequence of your past actions that's why you're going through what you're going through and this could be something that has happened in your previous life or in your current life okay but uh, acknowledge it and then work towards fixing it nutrition so you need to take care of what you're putting into your body every time you take you put something into your body ensure that it is it is what will save you from the supplement or the medicinal requirement otherwise okay so avoid fast food junk food uh, overeating undereating or not eating on time right nutrition is important so watch what you eat for this month and a new start is coming i like this card because this is like an open-ended statement so what this means is that there is a new chapter that is unfolding and beginning in your life it doesn't really tell you whether it is a happy chapter or a chapter full of lessons to learn from but a new chapter is something that you should start with a fresh perspective and a positive uh, outlook and that's how it is going to turn out to be uh, exactly as good as you hope it to be the first week of feb 2024 number four you have pulled out the six of coins or the six of pentacles the five of swords the ten of wands and the king of wands right so uh, i'm going to my cards are slipping from my hands today so the six of uh, coins or the six of pentacles tells me that you could be a liberal or dealing with one. This card also means that someone will be taking something up uh, from you of monetary value. It could be borrowing money. It could be um, taking something uh, expensive from you. A jacket, a bobble, a trinket, or an expensive watch, mobile car, uh, a place of stay okay a vehicle so on and so forth so why this card is showing up in your reading is because this that item that has been taken from you will not be given back the same way that it was taken it will be it will depreciate in value and at that point of time you're not going to be happy about it and your relationship with that person is going to be estranged it is better and advisable that you learn to say hey, no no right at the very beginning all right the next card is five of swords um online or offline someone will say something that will make you feel bad embarrassed humiliated um ashamed hurt and uh, you will not like it you won't like how that makes you feel maybe someone will pull up a pull a leg or uh, say something um you know inadvertently and hurt you and uh, it is not going to be taken lightly by you usually a person gives a sharp retort and uh, that is who you are number four you don't take things lying down but instead of letting it fester inside and creating stress and making you feel bad and bringing your vibes low or instead of um, giving the person back in the same coin i would advise that you silently uh, spectate and uh, then uh, separately catch hold of this person and say I didn't appreciate what you did it didn't go down well with me and uh, that's it that's what I would do and that's what gentle behavior demands yes it is difficult 
but it is the correct thing to do my job is to forewarn you right ten of wands is a card that says you seem to be uh, keeping your head down and working really really hard probably to make uh, to meet some kind of uh, a deadline it is also possible that you're working very hard for two reasons one would be to sweep what it is that you need to focus on under the carpet and the second could be that uh, you don't want to think about prioritizing that which needs not to be procrastinated on the king of wands is the last card for the first week number four you've pulled out uh, the card that says that you could be a leo or dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card speaks about your uh, position right now um, your station in life wherein people come to you they take your advice and uh, they use it in their life and it seems to work well and they appreciate and admire you for it having said that when it comes to taking it your own advice you shy away from it this lack of confidence is the reason why you're suffering the way you are at the moment have confidence in yourself have confidence in your gut and uh, things will go absolutely fine okay this is this is a this is a very very important card that plays all right second week of feb 2024 number four you've pulled out two of wands the six of cups the four of swords and the three of swords wow so the six of cups is here to say that someone will be coming uh from the past from your past um into your life Please remind yourself that people change and there may be an ulterior motive. I'm not filling your ears. I'm just letting you know there could be a possibility. This card also means that you might be nostalgic. You might think about the good old days. Memories of childhood can also come seeping into your, into your mind. Please remind yourself that comparing what things were to what they are now is all right to an extent, but it can also add a certain level of disappointment in your current status. And that is not where you wanted to go. Okay, it's good to have memories, but not good if you compare them. Two of Wands tells me that there is something that you already have in your hand and you're working on it and making it bigger, brighter and better. And it could be a skill set. It could be something you own and you are planning to present it out. There could be a concept that you're working on. Please continue on this journey because this seems to be a very, very good lucrative idea. Okay, maybe you're making a portfolio. But there is definitely something you seem to be working on and you're not letting anyone in on it maybe a select few people that you trust and they will not uh, you know stop you or they will encourage you but this is definitely something that is going to be a good payoff for you right so, st so stick around and keep working on it four of swords tells me that uh, although you are supposed to act right now you're still contemplating and thinking whether you are moving in the right direction, whether you should or shouldn't take up that offer, do what you're supposed to do. Um, and before you take that dive, um, you want to give it one last thought. But it seems like you're losing track of time. Remind yourself that if you don't take the decision, the universe will. And it may not be the way that you want it to. So better take the decision now. Okay. Remember, time is a tick-tocking. Three of Swords. Three of Swords tells me that uh, you either you're having an affair or your partner is if you're in a relationship. This card also means that, that in a situation there are too many people because of which it is difficult to come to some sort of resolution. If you want to solve a problem, you start with untying the knots and those knots should be ready to untie. Okay, there are Some knots are so tight that you have to snip it off, which means you need to remove some people from the equation and then see how does it affect you most and accordingly tackle or handle it. Uh, the third week of Feb 2024. Number four, you've pulled out the nine of cups, the three of coins or the three of pentacles, the six of swords and the hermit card. So the nine of cups is a card that we use a lot in uh, spell casting. This card says that a primary wish of yours is going to be fulfilled. This is something that has been in your mind for a long period of time. It may even have been shelved and something else may have come up, come up but this is something that you've been wanting to do for a long time and good for you on that score looks like in the third week you will be getting your wish come true three of coins three of pentacles tells me that there's money talks happening with you bang in the center in case you've applied for a job promotion investment buying selling anything that has to do with monies you are being discussed your monies are being discussed 
And if this card is reflecting in your reading, then that just means one thing, and that is that things are going to be moving in your favor. Six of Swords tells me that either you're planning a trip by the water or in a situation where you're waiting for the best possible uh, returns, uh, the universe is here to say that you need to cut your losses and move on. This is as good as it gets. So take the offer that has been given to you and go ahead and uh, continue in your journey. And the last card for the third week, number four, you've pulled out the Hermit card, which says you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to contemplate, look into yourself, see whether you're moving in the right direction, whether your actions are really um, worth it, whether you're practicing what you preach, so on and so forth. And this will be a sudden thing. Okay, the sudden introspection is something that you'll find yourself hit with, but it's going to be a good thing. The last week of Feb 2024, number four, you've pulled out the Ten of Wands. The Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands again, and the Moon card. So we'll take these two first. You know the rule, once you have more than one card, then the universe wants you to sit up and pay attention. And by the way, I think we have another Ten of Wands. So this came in the first week, I think. Yep. So you have three Ten of Wands, which means you are overworking yourself. I understand you have to meet a deadline, but please don't tire yourself, don't exhaust yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Please learn to take your rest, hydrate yourself, recover, meditate, do some breathing. And also check with yourself because you'll know best. Is there something that you need to address that's nagging you, that you need to get out of the way, get out of your mind, get out of your chest? Do you require a therapist, a counselor, an old friend to speak with? Or do you just want a reading and make sure that your clarity and direction is right on top of your game? Whatever it is, it's come thrice. Give it special attention. And please remind yourself, these are general readings. If you want a personalized reading, you know where to find me. Um, and you know that I have a panel of tarot readers and uh, they will give you the time depending on when they're, depending on their availability. Right, um, the Ace of Wands is here to say that the solution that you're looking for in your life at the moment of the issue or the challenge that you're facing um, is available in magic. And um, this is something that you need to um, look after, take care of and get into as soon as possible. We use this a lot in spell casting, okay? And the last card is the moon card, which says it could be a Piscean or dealing with one. This card also means that something is remaining hidden from you because of which you're not being able to come to an informed decision. And that is why coming to a conclusion is that much more difficult for you. And that is why you're not being able to be confident enough to uh, go ahead and declare what is it that you've decided. Find out what it is and I promise you, your life will get that much more easier. A very interesting spread indeed. Number four, I will see you in the month of March. Until then, take care of yourselves. Love, light and knowledge to you all. And Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, be at his essay.